new crossout players are playing the game on extra hard difficulty. Let me show you guys why. If you go to challenges, the badge exchange, I had no idea this many parts were locked behind engineers badges. I am scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Now for veterans, people who have been playing nonstop and never missed anything, we got all the parts as long as we bought the battle passes. But if you're just joining in 2024, man, you are missing out a lot. I mean, you do get some like structural parts from the factions. These are the factions that give you structural parts that everybody has access to just by leveling up like these parts. But a lot of the battle pass structural parts are locked behind this badge exchange. Now the price of one item is 300 badges. And if you want all four, you need to increase the amount. And then we have 900 badges. So that's insane. Now with the free packs that are in the link in the description down below, you already get access to some. And I personally also bought one. I think this one is the one I use the most. And that is the Gazan bumper. This is a really, really good bumper. The other parts that you see right here, I got from packs, free packs that are in the link in the description down below, like these founders parts, the syndicate parts. Otherwise, I would not have access to these. So the whole point of this video is if you're a new player or if you're unsure on what type or which structural part to get, I'm going to quickly go over all of them and I'll tell you guys if they're good or solid or not, because there's a lot of them here and you don't need all of them. Damn, that's, that's a lot. That's crazy. I'm going to start from the bottom because at the bottom, I see a lot of solid parts. Now, these are the Hyperborea parts. These are really solid. By the way, take a look at the special features of the structural parts. This one has 35% resistance to bullet damage, 15% resistance to fire damage, 50% resistance to energy damage, and 15% resistance to cryogenic damage. So pretty solid parts. All these parts here are pretty solid, especially the icebreaker bumpers. And the durability to mass ratio is pretty good on all of these parts as well. So if you want some pretty solid parts from the get go, if you're new, the Hyperborea parts are really, really solid. Just make sure you're able to carry these on your build because these are quite heavy. This one is 1159 kilos. We have the landing gear from the packs of other stuff. You don't really need these helicopter stuff. You don't really need these snowplow. Very good. I would highly recommend getting those or these. Wait, wait, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, these are not hyper. Yeah, these are also Hyperborea items, but from the second time, the second time they came around. Yeah, so these are also Hyperborea, but not from the first time they came around. These ones are from the first time they came around. Also pretty solid, not all of them. Out of these parts from the Hyperborea, I would say the Snow Palau is good, the Bulb is good, Captain's Bridge is good, and the Deck. These are smaller pieces, which are kind of useless. And then we have some Syndicate parts. We have the Harate Bumper, pretty decent. Mango Bumper, don't use it that often, but I do use it from time to time. Right knee, left knee, kind of useless. The elbow pieces, very important. Very solid mounting spots for your weapons. I, I really, really, really like the elbow pieces. I use them on, almost on all my builds. The right paw and left paw, it really depends if you want something like a fender on your build. They're not that bad. They're, they're pretty decent. The Sekiro structural part is also pretty decent. The right and left Kuzazuri, don't bother with them. The Tanko, it's all right. I, I don't use it a lot. The right sedan, left sedan, all these parts are very awkwardly shaped, so I don't use them. It really depends on what you want to do with them. The mempo was pretty decent, but I don't use them. Now we move on to some founder parts. These are also pretty solid. The back end is a must. Uh, these are very useful if you want some protection on the side of your build. Let me show you guys. Something. Oh, I don't have them here. Uh, on my main account, I use them on the sides of my build as some melee protection. Very solid. And if you're not going to use them on the sides of your build, they work really well in the front or in the back as well. The fenders are pretty solid as well. Not the best thing in the world, but they're, they're pretty solid. They just look a little bit odd. These are smaller parts. Don't really need them. Front end, you don't really need that. It's pretty good. It's it's a heavy part, but you don't really need that. Excavator hood, you don't really need it. It's a pretty good part, but you don't really need it. Excavator side cover, I don't really use these that often. So it's really up to you if you need it or not. The crane side and left parts, these are the big heavy parts. I do use these quite often, so these are good to get. The crane hull, left, crane plug, and right are parts to make the founder's builds look kind of decent. You don't really need these parts. These are small and not that great. The small digger side I use a lot, especially in front of weapons for protection. This digger side is smaller. It works, 
The Digger Hall, I don't use that often, but all three of these are pretty solid. I don't use the slope platform that much, but I do use the large platform to fill up some holes in my build sometimes. These are the weak melee parts. I don't use them. The bumper over here, I don't use it either. The minivan panel, pretty solid, good to get, especially if you don't have a high mass limit on your build. These are pretty solid for good protection. The boss panel as well. I don't use the Aurora, looks weird. The frame corner is a newer piece. I don't really use it that much, but it's pretty big. <laughs> It's pretty big if when you put it on your build. The cutters deal high damage, not as much as before, but they're still pretty solid melee weapons. I think I got one of them. Impact bumpers, these are really good for protection, so good to get. Mounting brackets, they're a bit bigger for mounting brackets, but they're pretty solid, so I would get these as well. Panel arch is pretty good as well. Left and heat sink, uh, maybe only get one or two of these. You don't need all four. The incisor is pretty decent. You can put it in front of your build as some sort of wedge, but you probably don't need six, to be honest. Screener bumpers, also pretty solid for protection for your weapons or the front or back or your side of your build. Pretty solid part here. Reflector, you don't really need this. Large assembly piece, only two. These are pretty good. High durability, high mass. The small assembly section, these are all right. I don't use them that often, but they're pretty all right. Now, I didn't mention this, but these are Dawn's Children's Parts. And check out the different damage resistances they have. 40% resistance to fire damage, 50% resistance to energy weapon damage, and 40% resistance to cryogenic weapon damage. So all these structural parts, you gotta, you gotta really check what you want to use them for. But my build usually don't have Dawn's Children's Parts, except for these bumpers and stuff like that. Left flail and right flail, these are pretty good for the front, so I would say get one of each. The APC bumpers are pretty solid, so I would go for them as well the turret vault um don't you're not really gonna use it apc fender also you're not really gonna use it also not gonna use it the large apc panel can be useful and the small apc panel also very useful these have different resistances this is a heavy part high durability very heavy the freight train plow it's only one so might as well get it it can be useful from time to time not on all builds though it's also pretty heavy next up we have some scavenger parts i personally like the corner platforms they are very big very heavy but very useful as well these are a bit smaller i don't really use them that much so i would probably skip out on them i only use the long slope for my leviathan i usually don't use it on my main build but i've seen some builds with it and the tram doors can also be a little bit useful so these ones really depends on what you're gonna build and as you can see they don't have a lot of different resistances only blast and bullet next up we have some nomad parts i don't use the full solage i don't use the dual abs slope i do use the airplane interior it's a pretty high durability part also a lot of different resistances and it's a nice large panel i like large panels because they can cover so much of your builds the smaller ones like this oh no this one is big as well but it's uh limited use it's kind of weird to build around this is the other side and these ones as well these ones are the small ones again kind of don't really see the point in them the puncher bumper is pretty solid i would say only two might as well get them the durability to mass ratio is pretty solid as well the other parts over here unless you are really tight on mass limit these are okay the tray is pretty solid i use the tray a lot the other parts not really but maybe someone in the comment section can tell me why you would get these parts because i usually don't use lunatic parts because they're a little bit they're not a little bit they are a little bit yeah they are just too weak for me <laughs> pioneer bumper is useless the king of birds are pretty solid depending on what you're gonna build right buggy floor you don't need these you don't need these not these either you don't need that either all are these or uh, these might be yeah these are actually pretty decent the off-road side the corners are not that useful and that's all the parts. We went over it kind of quick, but there's a lot. You don't need everything, but it is fun to have everything. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any other recommendations to veterans that are watching the video, please leave them in the comment section down below so new players can see which items are best and stuff like that. Just, and just leave me your feedback in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope I earned a like and a subscription to the channel. If you guys want to see more, look at my awesome builds. If you guys want to see more, you can click on one of these two videos over here and I'll see you there in a minute. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.